I'm at TJ Maxx, one of my favorite places to shop. And uh, Country Girl just, we were texting and she said, I hope you're vlogging this. And I said, oh, I forgot. And so I got out of the line and I'm going to tell you now what I'm looking at. So um, Kate Spade apparently has this new line called Saturday. I did not know about it. Um, did I? I don't think so. Anyway, this to me, I saw it on the rack and it just kind of stopped me in my tracks, which is always a good sign that you like something. It's kind of a Wizard of Oz green, shiny panel that's diagonal on black. Can you see? The mini skirt. But um, I think it could be cool. And then I just am looking at some jeans. I got this um, tank that I just want to wear around the house. Or maybe when I work out for inspiration. Creativity is 25% imagination and 75% innovation. Dream outside of the box. D-O-T-B. So I'm excited about that. Oh, and I got these cool jeans that are like black, kind of a shine, Joe's jeans, shiny, shiny, treated black on the front, but blue on the, in the back, kind of a split level situation. And oh, these cuties, these actually fit the best. I didn't even try on one of these pairs of jeans because I had already gone in. Um, these cuties. Just little, you know, like pants for a picnic, picnic pants. So that's it. And I'm going to go return um, something, the banana skirt, just between us, the banana skirt, um, because it was vastly, exorbitantly overpriced, even for, even for, for what it is in general. For a department store, it was overpriced. For TJ Maxx, come on, TJ Maxx. You're not usually this way. I redid my banana nails today. Do you like them? All right, see you later. Happy shopping. All right, y'all, here's the situation. There's a little baby robin right here. I don't think he can fly yet. And mama, mama's up here screaming at me, but I need to the garden. Hi everybody, I wanted to give you an update on the garden. It's really coming. We've got some masculine little gem salads, radishes, zucchini. Oh, here's a pad of hen squash. We have some beets and tomatoes, peppers, basil, black beauty squash, nasturtiums, marigolds. Uh, more nasturtiums. We've got some melons growing down there. And then on this side we have radishes, nasturtiums, corn, cucumbers, beans, Swiss chard, and beets. So if we look down in here, what happens is the radishes, they start bulbing out in the ground. So at that point, you can go ahead and pick them. Look at that. That's awesome. I love it. I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, the Wizard of Oz skirt is very short. Uh, it might be too short, but I just think it's very interesting. I'm gonna try to move so that it catches the light. I feel like singing wicked songs now. There, it sort of is. I mean, with flats, I guess it could be okay. But that bears a short skirt. Yeah, I like this Wizard of Ozness. All right, we'll see. Bye. Try and quickly show you this. Little babies. Hi. This is a little peewee. Okay, we're gonna let him go because mama's over here chirping at me. You hear that? 
that sound is coming from it's coming from this little bird it's a guinea guinea hen or guinea fowl is what they're called so those critters that we just saw are guinea hens guinea fowl and I believe that the sound that you could hear in the distance was the male calling to the females which is a horrible sound as you could tell I don't know if you could even hear it but it basically sounds like some weird creature crying out in the woods which is exactly what was happening guinea hen are kept much like chickens and ducks around here um, they lay eggs that you can eat like chicken eggs um, but they're specifically known to eat ticks and um, ticks as well as Lyme disease and other nasty nasty tick-borne diseases are, is rampant here so we really do try to keep them at bay what, with whatever cost and guinea hen are one of the solutions but as you can hear they make an awful lot of sound um, and they're really funny aren't they anyway just another day in the country bye good morning my friend Susan is oh hey Gracie come on you can come up come up yeah that's a girl. Good morning. Oh, she's going to play the mandolin with her face. I got out my mandolin. One of my strings broke last week. And um, my friend Susan is very kindly and generously hemming a dress for me. And she wrote me this morning that she is really worried about it and worried that she's going to make an error, which I know she's not. Or... I mean, she is so talented at her seamstressness. And so I wrote her this little song. And I'm kind of annoyed with GarageBand because the, the vocals sounded fine and clear. And then I added one line of mandolin and it sounded fine. And then I added a second line of mandolin. And then all of a sudden everything was tinny and strange. So I'm going to play it for you. All right, play. Did you even hear that? Um, for one thing, I'm researching all over how to turn the microphone, my, uh, metronome off, and I'm not finding that. And it's got to be possible. And the other thing is, can you even hear what I'm saying? I said, Susan, don't be afraid. You're doing me a favor. And when you're done, I'll buy you an ice cream in your favorite flavor. Woo! Because I will. See you later. <laughs> hey guys, what? I wasn't just eating a brownie. Yeah, I was. Hey, I'm at the super cool, um, sort of salon type of thing. On my friend Steve's house. And that's my friend Abigail right here. She's an incredible artist and like a comedian, even though she doesn't think she is a comedian. She is. And I'm just gonna scope around the room here. I'm gonna take you into this room, where earlier, my friend Steve, can you see the grand piano? They put on an incredible concert. It was so much fun. And uh, Daisy, the bartender, that's Daisy the bartender. She's incredible. She can do anything, basically. So, very hi. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hi. That's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye. I am wearing makeup from last night. Last night, my friends had that party. It was really fun. I overdid it a bit. I did. I decided to put on cotton candy top here and some pink lip balm and try to work on this top secret song that Country Girl is working on with me. I feel really determined to finish it maybe this week 
and I have an outline now, which I didn't have for a long time. The idea was planted a couple years ago, and slowly but surely, we're getting somewhere. We shot some video footage about a month ago with Miss Alice, and I think, I think we're going to have something here. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Anyway, hope everyone's having a happy Sunday, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Hi everybody, welcome to the country. We got up here yesterday and we're running out to the hardware store because again, that's what you do when you live in the country. We've got some projects going on and um, we'll see what's happening. Just getting everything together, rushing home and getting stuff together to rush back to the city. So anyway, it's been a great week. Um, and I hope you guys had a great week and we'll see you next week. Uh, stay tuned. Bye.